I wanted to comment a little bit, and, and I'm, I apologize to all of you Europeans and Israelis who are on the chat, who are listening right now live, because I, I, I want to comment on, on a bit of American politics. So we've now had basically two primaries in the Democratic uh, primary, uh, you know, the primaries for president, uh, for, for their nominee for president of the United States. And, it, you know, we're trying to get a, We're starting to get a sense of what uh, the field looked like. And, uh, and it, you know, the, I think that the, the, the news is that Biden is probably not going to be the Democratic nominee, uh, that, that people don't like Biden, don't want Biden. He's he's too old. He's done this for too long. People are tired of him. It's not about ideas. It's really about who he is, and and he isn't. I I, I think, I think you know. I'm very bad at these kind of predictions, but I, I suspect that he will not ultimately be the nominee. Right now, the leaders, the two leaders, are, are uh, you know Bernie Sanders, who always does well, particularly early on, particularly in New Hampshire, uh, and uh, and Pete Buttigieg, 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 something like that. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, who who is kind of a middle of the road stand for nothing Democrat, and um, and maybe Amy Amy Kobusha, who who did quite well in New Hampshire, surprisingly well in New Hampshire, and we'll see if she can attract any traction as uh, as we move as we move forward. Of course, the other candidate, the only other candidate who I think is valuable. I mean, the really 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 good news, the really really good news is that Elizabeth Warren is pretty much out. I mean, there's there's almost no chance i think that elizabeth Warren will actually be the nominee so that is fantastic because of all of them i always thought that elizabeth Warren would be the worst uh so uh seeing that she has has not been able to achieve traction in the democratic party is very good news for anybody who who loves america and loves whatever remains of our freedoms in the country um so we've got uh so we've got bernie and we have uh, we have pete but to gig or whatever his name is. And then we've got Amy Klobuchar. And um, of course, the final candidate is Bloomberg. Uh, Bloomberg is also there. Uh, you know, Bloomberg. So so we've got basically four candidates, I think, left. Uh, you know, Biden's still around and Biden probably won't disappear very quickly. He might win in South Carolina. We'll see. But we, we have, I think, four more viable candidates than um, than Biden. I, I still think that at the end of the day, the Democratic Party will not nominate um, uh, Bernie Sanders as the candidate. I I think I think it's pretty safe to say that Bernie Sanders is the future of the Democratic Party. He is the direction to which the Democratic Party is moving, but that he is probably not the candidate that can get it done. And I think the best example of this. Is um, is is Pete's Pete's? I'll call him Pete. What the hell is Pete Butchie gigs? But we'll just call him Pete. Pete's um, how Pete talks about Biden. I mean, which I, about uh, about Bernie Sanders, which I think is really interesting. So Pete Pete says basically, and this is the whole Democratic Party basically says this. They say, look, of course we agree with Bernie. Of course, we think his proposals ultimately are the right proposals. Of course, we think that is what we need in the future. Universal health care, you know, controlling Wall Street, uh, stronger unions, all the socialist stuff. But what Pete says is, but look, the fact is that that's too radical for the American people right now. And uh, the fact is that we can't get there today. So vote for me and I'll get you to where Bernie Sanders wants us to be. But, you know, I'll do it slowly. I'll move us incrementally in that direction. And of course, the Republicans never say it, but that, that's of course true even if you elect a, a Republican because at the end of the day, they will move you in that direction as well. But basically, AOC, AOC, who... I've always told you is really, really important. Important. Basically, AOC and and uh, and um, uh, you know Bernie Sanders basically are dictating the agenda of the Democratic Party. It's not the agenda in the short run. It's the long term agenda. It's where the party is going to head. 
It's where the party will be. It's where any nominee of the party, while they will reject and deny it for now, or they'll have universal health care, but with private option, they all intend to get rid of the private option one day. But they are... Um, they won't do it fast. They won't do it like Bernie Sanders and they won't advocate for it as, as passionately. But the fact is, Ayn Rand said this years and years and years ago, of course. She said, whenever you compromise, whenever, whenever you have two parties and one is consistent and one is principled and the other one doesn't really stand for anything and is compromising is middle of the road is nothing. The uncompromising principled one always wins. And in this case, when you get a Democratic Party composed of Bernie Sanders and AOC, who are principled in the direction of socialism, then everybody else who's like me, the mouth, don't stand for anything, somewhere in the middle of the road, don't represent anything, they're going to succumb to the principles. They're going to move in the direction of the more consistent socialists. Consistency always wins. And that's exactly what you're seeing in the Democratic Party. And it's it's... It's astounding how much the so-called moderates are playing up how, oh, I'm just as, uh, you know, I'm just as, uh, as socialistic as Bernie. I just think it should be done slowly instead of fast. And, and, and let me just say again, I think, I think the, the, the most powerful spokesman for that ideology right now is even more powerful than Bernie Sanders is AOC. I've, I've always said, I think AOC is smart. I think she is a fantastic communicator. I think she knows what she's doing. I think her ideas are evil, but I think she knows how to communicate them. She talks in, as I've said before, she talks in moral terms. She talks in terms that people understand. She talks in terms of emotions, she, but she talks about morality. And morality is what wins in the long run, not in the short run. In the short run, it maybe is too radical for people to lose their private insurance. But in the long run, that's where we're heading because neither Democrats, uh, you know, mainstream Democrats, nor Republicans, including Trump, will ultimately stand up against all that. Using the Super Chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...